shrinking cap from Pa? Catch me if you can! away with my sister Jemima for the weekend. Jemima was in a dance competition. Jemima's always dancing and I couldn't go to watch her this time because I had a sore throat. I was feeling quite miserable and I wasn't the only one. Grandpa was feeling miserable too and even Beowulf was feeling miserable because guess who'd come to look after us? There's a bee! There's a bee in the kitchen! Oh. It was Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's oh. sister! It's after me! Oh. Oh. Great Aunt Loretta cooks very odd food, like sausage with sardine sauce. She's always drinking spinach and sprout shake. Grandpa calls it green gloop. And she's always stubbing her toe. We have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. She's often like this, or like this. And she makes Grandpa feel like this. There's no sign of a bee, Loretta. I'm the only busy bee round here. Bzzz. You? Busy? You're never busy. You're lazy, you are. But how wrong could she be? because today was definitely going to be Grandpa's Busy Bee Day. Lemon bonbon, Jason. It'll help your sore throat. No lemon bonbons allowed. What he needs is green gloop. Yuck. Oh, goodness me. You have got a temperature, Jason Mason. Bed. Oh, no, please let me sit downstairs with Grandpa. Uh, uh, boys with temperatures stay in bed until they're better. Please let me stay on set with Grandpa. Please. He's going to read me a Captain Dumbledore story. Yes, go on, please, Loretta. We were halfway through this very I just knew Great Aunt Loretta wouldn't let Grandpa come upstairs with me. Let him stay. I'll just get you a drink and then I'll take you up to bed. I hope that bee's gone. It's no good. If she's making you go upstairs, I'll have to find a way of getting you back down. Not a shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. Gordon, my toy seagull. Wee, wee, wee. He can fly off in my plane. got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. And this time, his idea was to fly up to my room in my plane. Oh, so Grandpa's gone for a little lie down, has he? So much for you being a busy bee, eh? Come on, up we go. Whenever Grandpa disappears, everyone thinks he's gone for a little lie down. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap. And I knew for sure he wasn't lying down. He must have landed safely because the plane was on my bed. But where was he hiding? 
Right. Drink it up. Nothing like spinach and sprout shake to chase the germs away. I wanted to chase Great Aunt Loretta away. I knew Grandpa would try to help. But how? What's that noise? It sounds like a bee. Ah! Not another one! Ooh, get out! Out! Whatever you are! Out! We soon found out where the buzzing was coming from. It's in the tin. It's in the crayon tin. Right! Now the whole tin goes out the window. I'll sort it, Great Aunt Loretta. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I knew exactly what was in the tin, and it wasn't a bee. It was Grandpa. Call me when you've got rid of it. <sighs> Grandpa. <Bzzz. laughs> Come out of there. Have you got rid of it? Nearly great, Amaretta. If I were you, I'd get rid of the green gloop. You're right. You go to the bathroom and I'll hide. Yep. You can't be too careful. Where there's one bee, there's often more. Oh, you good boy. I'll make you something to eat. Kipper and marmalade sandwiches. Best thing for sore throats. Yeah, you can't eat a kipper and marmalade sandwich. I'll go and find you some grapes and a jammy jumbly biscuit. And maybe even a lemon bonbon. No, Grandpa, bad idea. But there was no stopping him. Grandpa was off. I didn't know how Grandpa was planning to get a lemon bonbon and grapes and a jammy jumbly biscuit up the stairs. And I was worried that Great Aunt Loretta would see him. <laughs> One lovely kipper. And don't think you're getting any, you greedy guts. Ooh, yum. One kipper and marmalade sandwich. Oh, oh, oh. One jug of parsnip juice. Ah! Oh, there's another bee. There's another. Oh, While well, Great Aunt Loretta was busy being scared in the garden, ah! Grandpa was busy hiding yummy things to eat under the kipper and marmalade sandwich. She was too busy looking for the bee to notice him. Well, has he gone? <laughs> As if you'd know. Right. Great Aunt Loretta set off with the tray. Then... Ow! Ooh. Ah. Ooh. 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 Oh! Ow! Ow! Me toe! Oh! That wretched plane! What's he doing down here? It was upstairs! Oh! The things I do for this family! I tripped over your wretched plane. I've no idea how it got downstairs. Maybe the bee flew it down. Oh, don't you talk to me about bees, Jason Mason. I could see where Grandpa had hidden the goodies, but where had he hidden himself? It wasn't long before I found out. Parsnip juice, nearly as good for you as green gloop. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's in the beaker. There's a bee in the beaker. I'll drown it. No! I grabbed the beaker, but then... Now the bed's all soaked. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh. Oh. Get rid of it and come down at once. I need you to protect me. There are bees everywhere. Grandpa. <laughs> Have a grape and a lemon bonbon as well. Ooh, I'm looking forward to a bite of that. <laughs> After we'd shared the grapes and the jammy jumbly, I put Grandpa in my dressing gown pocket and brought him downstairs. Are you there, Jason? Yes, just checking for bees, Great Aunt Loretta. I put him down on the floor. Off came his shrinking cap and he came back to his normal size. Have you got rid of them all? 
Yes, the house is bee free. I knew we'd find a way of getting you back downstairs, Jason. Yep. Teamwork. Teamwork. Bzzz. Bzzz. <laughs> <laughs> and Captain Dumbletwit could hear in the distance. Soon, Stay. Grandpa was reading me a Captain Dumbletwit story. And Great Aunt Loretta was snoozing and resting her poor toe. <sighs> The bag of frozen peas had come in useful again. And Captain Dumbletwit crept towards the spaceport. The terrible croaking noise was getting louder and louder. The doors of the alien spaceport slid slowly open, and to Captain Dumbletwit's amazement, there sat the wattiest, ugliest, slimiest toad he had ever seen. And he cried to the others, It's a toad! Ah, a toad! Did you say a toad? I did, Loretta. Oh, I don't like toads! And we've only just got rid of all the bees! Oh, call me when you've got rid of it!